Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Big Cell, F H O H N I C. Man, this is part, I'm guessing, six. Uh, kind of slows down a little bit, but it all it is. I just want you guys to experience it, some lessons and stuff in there. But sit back and enjoy Yonder part six. We got seven, maybe enough to do seven and maybe eight. All right? Hope you enjoy yourself. It's your boy Big Cell, F H O H N I C. Love y'all. Gone. Two baggers or three, uh, three sports bikes. Dun, 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 dun. Come in. Bags down. Up, up in the air. Angela Davis, huh? Say, man, you got anything to say, man? You sorry? I'm saying sorry to y'all, man. Say, man, see y'all in a minute, man. Hey, man. You know what I'm talking about when you ride your motorcycle, baby? You motherfucking, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All the way motherfucking in. Where we at? El Pasco, Texas, man. My man came, looked out for us, took us here, took us there, got everything situated. We love you, brother. Black Knights, made a shout out to you. Man, you feel what I'm saying? Got a real one with you, man. Houston, I'm on your ass tomorrow, Houston. You ain't gonna duck and dodge me for motherfucking much longer, man. I'm on your motherfucking ass, Houston, for real. Tomorrow we there. Let's get it up in there. Yes, what's going on? It's in the wee hours of the morning. I'm out here in Houston, Texas. With these kings of the south. And I'll show you guys, they have so many bikes out here. It's beautiful thing to see all these bikes. You know, everybody riding the fellowship. For those that don't know, kings of the south used to be my uh, former club. They're still my club brothers. So it is. But I want to do this video while I sit out here and just wipe down my bike. I'll have some rest and getting everything together. Dehydrating. So I kind of want to do this video. Um, you know, nice and quiet. Nobody can disturb me. And plus, not too many comments. <laughs> I don't need that comment per se on this particular video. Uh, yeah. Alright, so yesterday when I went to Houston, y'all been following this journey. Uh, y'all been following this journey now for uh, since, me and, since me and Bags left on March the 5th. And yesterday got very interesting yesterday. So the title for this one is Leaving, leaving a club brother. Is there ever a time when you can leave a club brother? I'm trying to find something to push you guys up. Something. I'm in front of this door. Too close. Is that better for y'all over there? Yeah, that's better for y'all. Okay. Is there ever a time when you can leave a club brother? Okay. All right, so like I said, me and Ben back started this journey on March the 5th. We've been all over the world. Bags is from Florida. So he came from the bottom of Florida all the way over to the, he went from coast to coast. And we have, we've been having a real good time. Well, yesterday, first off, we, we made it to, um, you know, it took us a little while. We made it to Oakland. That was our first stop. Then we went down, we went to uh, support the Soul Brothers, Mother Chapter, um, Little Dance Cat. Then we went to, um, then we went to um, L.A. for the Rare Breed Boots and Jeans. And now we're in Houston for the King of the South 
first annual Houston chapter. So you guys have been watching us take this journey. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of, uh, you know, just fun times and stuff. It's been kind of frustrating for me at times, but I make the best of it. I really do. There's really not too many riding conditions that I cannot ride in, okay? Uh, hold on, guys. Let me try to get you guys up here. There's really not too many riding conditions that I cannot ride in. Is that better for y'all? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how long that's going to stay, but we'll try to get y'all right here. While I wipe down my bike, while everybody's sleep. Hold on. Put that right there. Alright. So, let me try to see these comments. You should never leave a club, brother, or a sister. Okay. Alright, it's going to be discussed. What up? What you doing up so goddamn late, dude? Doing what I do. What? Just going to wipe the bike down and chill while everybody's sleep. And I'm on live right now. What up, man? This is my man, DJ Rec, president, vice president of the Houston chapter. You on Facebook, YouTube. This thing got cameras everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you crazy talking to yourself out here. So, sir. What's up? Way to do, man? Say, man, y'all doing your thing. A lot of bikes, a lot of people. And it's, yeah, just, you know, it's just Thursday, so I'm proud of you guys. I was telling people, a lot of y'all don't know that, like I said. Some of you guys don't know that King of the South is my original club. Yeah. The Houston chapter definitely is one of the chapters that I helped bring, yeah. bring on board and show and help get together, man. You got, I'm proud of you guys. Y'all doing your thing, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah. My so, nigga, man. Yeah, for sure. So that's what it is, man. But I'm talking about when do you leave a club, brother? Or not even so much a club, brother, a brother or sister. When you, you know, when do you leave, you know? So I was telling <laughs> them yesterday, me and Bags been on the road since March 5th. We've had some fun times. But. One of the things that people got to understand and consider is that when you're on the highway, there are rules and regulations, period. It's different from riding yeah. local, from, you know, your local riding to getting yonder and being on the highway. Um, and sometimes it can be very frustrating when, you know, when you've got a club brother or a club sister, you're trying to teach them and show them, and yet and still they have their own agenda because this might be more than what they can handle. So. Sure. So, for me yesterday, just to clear the air, I didn't so much leave Bags, not knowing where he was going, not with instructions, but we had both got to a point to where we were just, I was exhausted, he was exhausted, he was frustrated, I was frustrated, and to keep from actually, you know, saying anything out of line to each other or to keep from actually getting into any physical altercation, over a trip, we just decided to part ways. You're going to take your time and do what you need to do, and I'm going to go and do what I need to do. I was tired trying to get here to the hotel. Number one, I had to check in by a certain time. A lot of little stuff. And he had his own personal agenda as far as how he wanted to ride and the time he wanted to take and whatever other issues he had. So at that time, it was best for us just to split. And never at any time did yeah. I, uh, yeah. the one gentleman, never at any so, time. What up, y'all? What's going on? Y'all just not waking up or something? No, no, no we need to sleep. We need to sleep. Man, where y'all been? We're in the room. We're in the room. We're in part two right now. Well, well, we were not here earlier. We're in the room. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? 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 You video right now? Uh. Hell, I'm feeling a little sleep. Look at all the sleep. I'm taking a nap. I already did. I bet you know I got it earlier. Man, you probably taking that dude away. You done made it yet. No, he's straight. That's what I'm talking about right now. Hey, that's what I'm talking about right now on my, on my line. Right Come on, man. Yes, sir. Listen, man, and sir, and that's what I was telling people. So, for everybody that was talking about, I left my brother on the side of the road. Yes, I did. <laughs> But like I was telling you, at certain times, man, when you're out here on this highway, there's rules and regulations. And if a person, we both was fatigued, we both was tired. I know I, it don't take four days to do 1,600 miles. You know, it don't take that. That's that's just not something that I, it, it don't work for me. He so. was on vacation. I don't care if he was on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it's still rules and regulations to the highway. It's different from riding yonder and riding local. It's totally different. So... Like I was telling everybody, so, so to keep from to keep from going to blows and to keep from saying something to a club brother or sister that you will regret later, 
You just decided to part ways. I knew he had the confidence. I taught him everything he needed to have to get where he needed to go, and I was confident that he would get there at his own pace. I needed to go at my pace in order to save my sanity and my frustration. So that's what we decided to do. Now, maybe I bit off more than I could chew by bringing a rookie, and maybe he bit off more than he could chew by messing with a yonder vet. I don't know. But at the end of the day, he's safe, I'm safe, we're here. We're going to have a good time. But you guys have to understand that when it comes to when it comes to motorcycling, club or no club, sometimes in order to say in order to be safe for, for in order for me to be safe, I had to ride my ride, and in order for him to be safe, he had to ride his ride. So I can only ride your ride so long as at some point I got to kind of save myself, and you have to do the same. At some point, you got to kind of save yourself. So that's one of the things that you guys need to consider. Whenever you decide to ride with a group or with a, or, or another person, you have to kind of give to your own way of riding, your own way of understanding, and try to at least embrace, you know, each other's riding style, riding habit. And I did that, man. Since March the 5th, I've been riding bags ride. Yesterday, fuck that, I had to ride my ride. You know what I'm talking about? So... That's what it was, but he said we both say we good. We here, like I said, King of the South Houston first annual. Um, for those that don't know, again, this is my one of my original clubs that I was with. So it's been it's gonna be cool to be here and see these cats do their thing, man. And uh, it's gonna be a good weekend, man. They doing their thing. I'm proud of them, and uh, we just gonna have a good time, man. But always understand that everything that you think you know, you really don't know. Let me see these comments. Carissa, what you say? Oh, yeah, that's something different. Can't take two different trips. An agreement must be made and kept. But keeping contact with check-ins is, ma is mandatory. Oh, for sure. I didn't have no worries about him. First off, I taught him everything he needed to get where he needed to go. So, uh, you know, at some point, he just had to, at some point, he just had to ride his, you know, he wanted to do what he wanted to do at his own pace. So that's what that was. Uh, what up, Keish? So, I don't want everybody to have all the negative comments and the negative jokes and this and this and that. But, I mean, you're going to have them anyway. That's that's just how we get down. But at some point, man, you have to understand that. At some point, you have to be able to save yourself and, and make a decision to say, Hey, you know what, brother? I, you know, I know you know what you know. I know you know how to get there. You know, just going to ride the ride and meet me there, do whatever. And we was only, we was only, we was less than 200 miles out. So that's that. Uh, and let me see what they saying on. What up, man? Good morning, bro. Be safe. I'm going to go on and end this video right now so that, um, what up, Satoya? Hey, what up, Spain? Hey, you done yet? You done? I'm almost done right now. All right, so anyway, that's it. Before this stuff gets you rowdy. What's up, sis? Good morning, Ava. Love y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease. It's your boy, Big Cell FHO, H and I C, and I'm gone. Say, man, we out here in Houston, King of the South, man. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning, man. They still out here getting it in, man. I think that's the Charlotte chapter. We're still on the bike. Houston doing their thing, man. Bikes everywhere. Bikes everywhere. They out having a good time. That's what it's all about, man. When you make them ride, sit outside and have a good time and chill. Four o'clock in the morning. Hey man, we're here. 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 We're
What's going on, man? It's your boy, Big Seller Fate Choice, and I see I'm here in Houston, man. Kings of the South, Houston chapter, doing their thing. It's their first annual. It's going to be a real big event, man. I'm proud of these cats. As you can see, man, I promise you, this is going to be an event that everybody want to attend and want to be a part of. Stay tuned. What's up, baby? What's up, man? What's going on, baby? Hey, I, I watch your whole trip, man. Thank you, Daddy. Probably late. Okay. Hey, man, these boys done did their thing, man. They done rode their motorcycles. They done paid off. Let me show y'all this. That's behind me now. Let me show you in front of me. Working, Crow, I'm working. I'm out here at the auto show. I'm sitting in my car with my blanket. Watching some cars. That's all I'm doing. I'm watching some cars. What up, sis? You know I'm getting this check. I'm out here watching these cars till in the morning. I'm just sitting here in my car watching the cars. Yeah, you didn't try to see me, Crow. You weren't trying to see me. That's it. I'm getting this check. I'm my shoes off. I got my little blanket. I'm ready. I need to be in Houston though, but I gotta get this check. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nobody wants to take the penalty. They worked on the fight for about an hour. Blanco didn't take my fight. He said okay. Yeah. But he never. He gave me the fight. He didn't give me the fight. He didn't even give the fight. He didn't give me the fight. So Blanco didn't take the fight. No. And either one didn't take the fight. They hit the wrong with either one. Yeah. But it was when I was trying to put the club. And you did bring it to the fight. I did. Blanco. The man said he needed to see you, man. I told you I was a big deal, but I know he's still ignoring me. Hey, man, it's your boy, Big Shell. Make sure I see him am going. Hey man, y'all see I'm with sis, man. Hey, what up? I'm on my way to work. Yeah. This fool talking about where the no breakfast, breakfast at. at. That's what I'm this ain't uh, this, Atlanta. Yeah. This ain't Texas. Yeah, where the breakfast we at. go to work. Yeah, uh -huh. He lucky he got some dinner yeah, last night because I would have came home and we had a cup of soup. He better go find some of that chicken and warm it up and put it in the microwave. Hey, man, we here, bro. Good morning, man. AC, I'm in the building. Sis, bro, everybody going to work. I got the whole house to myself. This big ass house. Fucking mini mansion. But guess what I'm gonna do? Take my ass back to me. Yeah, boy. Yeah, God bless this home. All that good stuff. Ride your motorcycle, man. Hey. What you don't do, man. When you pull up, turn your shit off. All that old trying to get the hair done, shit, and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? This don't even make no sense. Y'all gonna ride her right. It's, it's, it's he mad because I'm cute. It's 20 minutes, to get, 20 minutes to get on the bike and 20 minutes to get off the bike, man. We both have been in there with a plate of fish by now. Man, fucking with Doc. All the fish gonna be gone. No, because my husband gonna make no, no, sure no, 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 no. he got me. Boy, when, <laughs> hey, when the motherfuckers think they got special privileges, right? We do. <laughs> we do. Hey, man. I'm a legend in the making. I got special Hey, where's she getting that legend shit from? That's my baby though, man. She's doing her thing, man. Yes, yes. Turn that guy. Oh, yeah. Turn he just man. mad because his shit ain't black. He mad because his shit ain't blasting. You know what I'm saying? Turn that shit down, man. We here, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I tell you. Hey, it's going to be a long night, man. Y'all stay tuned. I'm pretty sure she going to be full of motherfucking shenanigans all night. Look, look. He just don't understand. Are you, are you, you know? done yet, though? I are you done yet? Hey, man. We here. Hey. Say, man, you still can't stop them 48, man. Let me turn this around for y'all like this.
Sunday morning, AZ is done with all the bullshit that the county, the city tried to throw at them, the police, the councilmen, all of that. With all the bullshit that they tried to throw at them, man, they still threw one hell of a party. Um, and you, and you got to respect that. You got to respect the club for not giving up, knowing that they got people in town, knowing that, um, you know, it's fucked up, still trying to... Uh, you know, give you a quality event, give you something to be proud of as far as being on the MC set. So, shout out to Soul Brothers, man, Arizona, Team 48, the whole nine yards, y'all did that. Much love from your boy, Big Cell, FHOH, and I see. And as always, this is one of my favorite runs of all time. So, West Coast is the best coast, I promise you that. It's your boy, Big Cell, FHOH, and I see. man good Monday morning wherever it is whatever you're doing I know y'all be trying to keep up with me but yeah I'm with the fat man we at the Jacks getting us some major grub on got my cousin so instead of asking how I do it just watch me 
Don't yeah. worry about how I do it, what I'm doing. Just watch. Man, she gonna have fun. Gonna have fun, man. So I'm in LA. I'm in the town. Hit me up. Back in the town. Back in the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the town, man. We at Jack having breakfast, man. Enjoy your day, because I'm going to enjoy mine, for real. I promise you. Well, I'm going to live, man. And I'm going to have a ball doing it, man. It's your boy. I'm going, man. What's good, man? On the corner of Acacia and Compton Boulevard. That's the Compton Courthouse over there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see that. Anyway, man, it's Monday morning. I'm back in the town. I figured, fuck it, I'll come back and hang out for a minute. Then head back home. So it just is what it is. What up, Lauren? Ken Folk, what up, man? I'm back home in Compton, man, back in the town. I'm in the car right now to go take care of some business. Just went and picked up my whole another supply my eco shit y'all see that over there just went and met my man stoke i ran out of my eco one while i was on the road man you feel what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so it is what it is man just had breakfast with the fat man the big punster the candy shop owner and extraordinaire bike builder so that's it man i'm just chilling i'm gonna go go back home finish take some more stuff to take to the post office so i can mail home Lighten up my load a little bit. Bring you back some Eco One. Hey, I'm going to mail some home. But all you do is got to hit them up, man. Hit them up, Jeb. I just left them. I just left them at the lab, too. Faye, what up? Five cap. So anyone back home in the town, man, hit me up, man. Whatever y'all got going on, man. If I missed you the last time, I want to get with you this time, man. I want to see you. I need all my hugs and, you know what I'm saying, kisses from the missuses. Hugs and daps from the homies. I need all that, man. I love y'all. Truly, I do. Hey, one of the things I want to say, too, real quick, and I want to say this. The great kings and queens of Africa, uh, on my way to L.A. yesterday, a couple of the older cats, the OGs, was broke down. And I was a little short on gas, so while he was broke down, I had mentioned, yeah, I'm trying to get to the next gas station. I'm a little short. He said, well, man, you might well take all the gas out of my, my tank because I'm broke down and I ain't going to need it. And OG went, pulled the hose off his bike and, you know, did what he did, hooked it up to the thing. And they gave me like five, five water bottles full of gas. And when I tell you that got me to Summit, I was in between the state line and Summit. So the gas that he gave me got me to Summit. The great kings and queens of Africa, he drives a, uh, a cool little soft tail. I'm not sure what his name is. It was two OGs. So when you see him, man, give them a love from me, man, from... Um, what up, Roos? When you see the great kings and queens of Africa, man, you tell them Big Cell said thank you, I love them, and I'm forever indebted to them, man, just on some humble, on some humble motorcycle shit, man. That shit was amazing, man, and these OGs, and, um, you know, because I was in between. The next stop was the Desert Center, and then after that, it was Summit coming in, coming past the, uh, the state, and I don't, even, I don't even know how my dumb ass missed the, uh, the exits right there coming in, the, I think that's Baker from the state line. I don't know how I missed those and ended up getting worried about running out of gas. But anyway, I truly got to thank them, man. If they got something going on, I definitely want to go by there and support them. Great kings and queens of Africa. So, what up, Cal? My man, I just came back to the to the came back to the town for a day or two. Go give me a haircut, man. Go fuck with my nigga Greg. So, this is my challenge. I'm here, man. Do you want Anthony Hooper in this video? Yeah, nigga. Tag Anthony Hooper. That's my nigga. That's my cousin, man. Tag him in this motherfucking video. What up, cousin? I just went to breakfast with Alex. I just took Alex to Jack. I didn't think you would be in town. Yeah, man. Go home, bro. Hey, man, look here. I am home, man. You feel me? I'm finna pull up on Beautiful right now. You watch. I'm finna show y'all. I ain't playing no games, man. You know what I'm talking about? Just so y'all don't, you know what I'm talking about? I'm in the town, too. Let me watch this. What's that? Oh, what is that right there? Is that blue? That's blue. Yeah, that's blue, man. That's blue, man. I took the tour pack off because I got to um, put my locks on the tour pack. I haven't had locks on the tour pack. So, 
Uh, my girl, uh, my sister, uh, uh, Keisha went and bought me the tour packs lock, so I'm gonna put the tour packs lock. So that's why I got them up in there now. What up, Fred? Bobby Boucher for sure. What up, baby? What's going on, honey? What's your little pretty ass set? What's good? Hit me up, man. Hit me up, man. So anyway, I'm in the town, man. Anybody, what's going on? What's tonight? Monday night? Man, let's make it happen, man. For real, man. Still at it, huh? Yeah, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all I need 100,000 miles on my motorcycle before I go home. I think I'm at like 90. Let me see what I'm at, man. On this 2015 that I got brand new. Let me see what, how many miles I got on this motherfucker. How many more miles I got to go before I go home, man. Oh, let me close this motherfucker room. Can I close this room without the car being on? Don't want nobody to jump through the, you know, through this Panameric roof type shit. Yeah, okay. All right, let me see how many miles I got on blue. I should be at about 97,000 on a 2015. Looking as good. Look, look how good she look. Let me show y'all how good she look. This is a stock 2015. Still looking good. You feel me? Let me see how many miles on this motherfucker. So y'all think I'm on the bullshit, man. Yeah, hold on. What up, Dietrich? I mean, uh, uh, Dietrich. What up, Dietrich? What up, Kittle? What's up, Sales Senior Houston? Yeah, man. Y'all see that right there? Let's say 96,856. Yeah, 96,000. Let me let y'all see it again. Yeah. So I got 3,000 more miles to go before I can get home. So. I'm going to hang up in here. I'm going to head to Tulsa. Go fuck with them second and nuns, man. My man D-Ray and I'm a hell of a dude. If you're not doing it this weekend, man, you feel like riding your motorcycle, Tulsa, Oklahoma is going to be going down the um, second and nuns, Tulsa chapter. I always put it down. But this is what I want to say. To all my second and nuns partners that's here, from here, from Vegas, i.e., the Bay, say, man, come ride with your boy, man, to Tulsa, man. Come ride with your boy. Do not have me on the highway by myself, second and none, please. I'm begging y'all, please do not. Please, second and none. Some of us, one of y'all, somebody ride their motorcycle with me, please. Somebody, anybody. Punchy said I'm asking for too much. That's what Punch, big, big Punchy said, man, them second and niggas ain't, them second and none niggas ain't gonna ride like that. They don't ride no motorcycles like that. I told Punchy, he begged it. If I told him when I leave here Thursday morning, you feel what I'm saying? And whatever, Thursday morning at midnight, there's going to be at least 50 motherfuckers second and nine motorcycles on the highway with me. That nigga Punchy told me, I am one of the biggest dreamers of all time. He said, you's a goddamn fool if you believe you're going to have anything more than Greg. He said, Greg is the only nigga, Greg Smith, the barber, you know, a.k.a. the nigga that knocked out Suge. He said, Greg Smith is the only nigga that might ride his motorcycle from second to none. I beg, the, I, don't, I don't believe that. I beg to believe that. Where's Bags at? Man, Bags is doing his thing, man. He down there in Florida. Um, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, Boulevard, you going? Yeah, I think you're on the fly. I think you're DJing, huh? Yeah, you know how, you know you put that drill in the old domino. I sure wish I had a bleak. Because if I could, I sure put it back on there and turn that motherfucker in about 4000 to trade that bitch right on in with that 100000 on that motherfucker. I sure wish I could do that, babe. <laughs> um, out of that, the new motor, they did the new motor at like 80, what the new motor went out at 80, 88? Either 86 or 88. So that might be about, I'm almost going to say, I'm at about either, I know I'm anywhere between six and 10000 on a new motor. So, you feel what I'm saying? But I wish I could. Like, my man talking about that. that I, 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 yeah, okay. All of them miles is highway miles earned. Say, man, down the pound, let me tell you something, man. When I tell you in Arizona, they had it laid all the way the fuck out. They had it laid all the way the fuck out, man. Them niggas had a, uh, they had one of them old chuck wagon grills, nigga. I thought I was back on the old western set or something. I'm waiting on the niggas. I'm waiting on niggas to pull in with horses and, and motherfucking backwards chaps on and shit. 
Yeah, man. So let me get my. I just went by Stokes. Went by his house. Picked up my hoes. I told him I was out of the eco, man. So gave me a whole get down package of the eco. So I'm all in, man. I'm all in, man. I'm going to wipe blue down later on. Feel me? Wipe blue down later on. And uh, just chill out and hang out, man. Probably go to the candy shop. I know y'all like it when I go up there and fuck with the fat man. Pure comedy with this fat ass. I mean, well, he's skinny now. It ain't the fat man. We just gonna keep calling him the fat man, though. So, like I said, just went to breakfast with him and my cousin. Went down to Jack's where all the OG players hang out at. Lock something. Anyway, fuck it. All right, so just wanted to share that with y'all, man. What's up, Compton, with your funky ass? I'm back home, y'all. So for all those people that don't believe I'm from Compton, California, where I'm from, I'm on the streets, man. Every day, every chance I get, I love coming home. I ain't on the run from no nigga. Ain't nobody looking for me. None of that shit, man. Yeah, none of that shit. Hold on. You gotta lock the front door. So anyway, that's what it is, kid. Roll with Greg and Palmdale to next level annual September with Slip, PJ, and Gip. I know them two. Brothers Rock, i.e. Rare Breeze. Okay, well, I'm just saying, man. If y'all know any second of none, tag them to this post. And tell them, man, please don't let... Please don't let Sale ride all the way to um, Tulsa, Oklahoma by itself. Okay, well, I'll see you there, Cal. It's going to be some cool shit, man. They're doing their thing. Tulsa, Oklahoma, second of none. My man D-Ray has always been good to me, man. We've always been tight, so we're going... I'm definitely going to support him, man. So, what up, Ivan? What up, what up? So, anyway, that's it, man. Back home in the CPT. A girl, Cream, I'm at her house. You know what I'm saying? She got made. Love her and mama. I love them, like, I love them cool. They made me a uh, Easter dinner yesterday, so that was real cool. So I'm good, man. Hit me up, man, if you're in town, man. My phone dead. I'm going to let my phone, other phone charge up. But hit me up, man. And don't be asking me to ride all over the goddamn city. I got a rental car. I went and got a rental car and all that. So I'm good, man. We can go wherever you need to go, man. But not on no motherfucking motorcycle, man. You feel what I'm saying? I surely will, Daryl. So anyway, man, I'm out here. I'll be, uh, I know everybody talking about when I'm going home. I promise you. If second or none hadn't to pull the stunt that they just pulled, you, you from D Ray them. If D Ray them hadn't to pull the stunt that they just pulled, I'd have been heading home. But gotta support when you're out and about, man. That's what that show is all about: support, love, unity, riding motorcycles, and bringing you the truth about this motorcycle and shit. I'm so tired of people lying to us about this motorcycle shit. Y'all gonna stop lying, man, because the truth will eventually. Um, I wait. Need that interview with you for my blog. For sure. Let's get it, man. Whenever you're ready, man. Joe, did you do ride safe? Hey, what up, Ant? <laughs> What's good? So I'll see y'all, man. Second and none, man. Don't let me ride by myself, please. Please don't let me ride all over the so close by myself, please. Can I ride with I just want to ride with some nuts, man. <laughs> I just want to ride with some second and nuts, man. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Say, man, it's your boy, Big Sale FHO. Hindu, what up, man? I saw that boy try to have you go in your pocket, too, and give him that other $100 back, talking about he wasn't, that wasn't a bet that he was betting. Nigga, you know, well, it should have been. Yeah, it should have been the bet you was betting, because I ain't giving you nothing back. Hey, I'm just saying, Dad, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> well, if you're in Toledo, man, I, don't forget, we got the FHO first annual independent independence run, man, July 5th through the 8th. 
Got a group leaving from Washington. Got a group leaving from Atlanta. We're going to Niagara Falls, man. We're going to have a good time. So if anybody want to jump in on that, no colors allowed. I ain't going to say no colors allowed, but it ain't about the colors, man. You know what I'm talking about? So we're going to do that. Yeah, you're going to try to tell my partner Hindu nigga that wasn't okay. Well, it should have been because I, I can't reach him. Hindu said, I can't reach in my partner. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you can't reach in my pocket for to give you none of that, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hindu, I love you for that one, Hindu. That was some real G shit. Like, because I don't know what they be thinking. I guess they be thinking y'all come from the country, y'all soft or, or we soft or whatever. The only thing soft, nigga, is the shit you put in your hand and squeeze. Because that's what you better do, fuck with me, man. Hey, man. Coming from you, Big H, that's that's a major compliment, man. Because you arrived, motherfucker, too, old sneaky fat bastard. Yeah, you be sneaking yours in, too, you little fat bastard. Uh, 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 Big H, yeah. Big H be right. Big H, you be sneaking your little rise in, man. You feel what I'm saying? Two bro, El Paso leaving out about 1 p.m. today, headed back home. Hit me cell if you need it. They they from El Paso heading back to where, Amp? I'm not sure. I'm telling you, Hindu, that was some. Hey, I watched that shit. So I said, nigga, listen to this. I might even do a video about that, about the fuckery, nigga. How the it's after the race, nigga. I'm talking about like way after the race. It ain't like the race just ended, nigga. This is like two races after that race. And you want to, I guess he thought because he was in a wheelchair, he was disabled. You was going to have some disabled, you, you going to have some love for the disabled. <laughs> what up, Steph? <laughs> yeah, okay, they, they leaving El Paso going where? You said they leaving El Paso. Are they going to, um, are they going to, um, to, um, to um, what you call Oklahoma, or are they coming back to L.A.? I don't know. I don't understand what you're saying, Amp. But yeah, though, Hindu, yeah. I guess he thought because he was in a wheelchair, he was going to have some sympathy for him. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. Ty, but, Tidy Boy, what up with it? Yeah. Gaddafi, man. I know you drove a long way to go out there to AZ to have a good time, man. And uh, we, I still had a ball, AZ, you know. It wasn't about the races on that. What y'all got to know is this, man. Arizona is traditional motorcycle shit. That's really what the whole shit was about, man, for us to come together somewhere totally different and function and fellowship. You know, the racing and all the other shit that got shut down, that was the extra shit. Soul Brothers still put on a hell of an event. You feel what I'm saying? They did their thing in spite of all of the obstacles. And, 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 for, and let me tell y'all something. Let me end this rumor right now. For everybody that said that they knew in advance that this wasn't going to happen, that wasn't going to happen, that's a fucking lie. Everything happened at the last minute. Every fucking thing happened. It was not pre-planned. They didn't know a week ago. They didn't know nothing about the article. The article came out three days before. But even when the article came out, everything was still a go. If you read the article, the article say that they didn't have a liquor license. Everything was already a go. Every fucking thing was already a go. So that rumor about them being knowing that a week ago, that's some bullshit. Everything happened to, to the Soul Brothers an hour to two hours before each event. Period. I promise you, I was there, I know. And again, the Soul Brothers don't even get down like that. They don't have to lie to you motherfuckers to kick it. You feel what I'm saying? They don't have to lie to you motherfuckers to kick it. So... Y'all need to knock, whoever's starting that rumor, knock it off. It's not true. Gaddafi, it's not true. When you went down there to race, they did come to see you race. They did come to see King Kong do his thing. They had no control over the influence that the city council, the mayor, and the police, and it was really the influence of the police department. So fuck Phoenix Police Department, I'm just saying, because they were the ones who pushed the line on, on the vendors. They were the ones who pushed the line on the track at the last minute, which I still don't know why the Indians folded because, nigga, they own all they own. But you got to look at it like this, though. This is what you got to look at. We, when we talk about politics, this is what you got to look at. Yes, so brothers paid their money. Yes, so brothers was going to be a big event. But that was one event compared to the other 200 events that I'm going to have that I won't get police that I won't get police protection for if I allow if I have this one event. Still, me personally, I would have said, "Hey, fuck that! They ain't did nothing to me." But you got to look at when it comes to politics, and this is one thing y'all need to know too. This is a perfect example of, um, and they are they're going to deal with that. They got a lawyer that's going to deal with that. This is a perfect example of us not owning our own shit. Gaddafi, at one time, you mentioned buying a track. We need to own some shit. I don't give a fuck where it's at. Because if you own some shit, Gaddafi, or I own some shit, or Hindu owns some shit, 
then we could just plan our big events at these things because we know that we're going to be protected. We know ain't nobody going to be able to come in there and tell a motherfucker, you know, what it is or what it ain't, man. That's the problem. We need to get together and start owning shit. I'm telling y'all, man, these clubhouses, you know, um, people losing their clubhouses because the police is putting the pressure on the owners and the city. Fuck all that. If I own some shit, y'all more than welcome to come to it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. So when you want to talk about the problems, the problem is we've been sitting on our ass and not paying attention and acting like everything peaches and cream and acting like these motherfuckers love us and give a fuck about us. And they don't. You feel what I'm saying? They can give a fuck less about us. And until we start owning some shit, you feel what I'm saying? Until we start uh, patronizing each other, stop hating on each other, until we start supporting each other. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and fucking with each other. Then we're going to always be in the same fucked up situation. We're going to go to these events and they're going to shut it down. You feel what I'm saying? Because we niggas and we ain't supporting each other. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> if they knew that we possibly would have towed Phoenix up for them doing what the fuck they was going to do, do you think they would have touched that? Because I'm going to tell you something what's going on right now. Right now, Phoenix, Arizona is white bike week. And I ain't, this ain't for, I'm not trying to, Discriminate against none of my white followers or fans or none of that, none of my Asian. I'm just telling you, right in, in, in Phoenix, going on right now, started today, is what you call the White Bike Week. I don't know what name they have for it or whatever, but I call it White Bike Week. And if you think that a bunch of these motherfucking white folks don't get together and fuck over each other, have fights and get drunk and shoot and shit go down, use a goddamn fool. And if you think that they have a successful, peaceful event every year, you feel what I'm saying? And it and it goes uninterrupted with violence or the bullshit you out your rabbit ass mind. The difference is, is that they don't put the spin on it. You know why? Because they will come together and they will get lawyers and they will get all that shit together and they will fight the motherfuckers and they will lose shirts off their backs and everything. But they know us. I oh, fuck them. Them niggas ain't going to do nothing. Fuck them niggas. Hey, man, cancel they shit. Them niggas ain't going to do nothing. Because they know we not going to get together and we not going to give a fuck about nothing. Right now... We should each club man should be trying to come together to help soul brothers figure out what we got to do to get our shit back. I'm telling you, we need to be coming together as club. When we when they go to that council meeting, it need to be motherfuckers from all clubs all over the world saying, "Listen, man, why is y'all fucking with us? We just want to party, man. We just want to do our thing. The hotels make money. This, this, this is what you got to understand. This anytime the white folks tell you they don't want your money and they know they making money off of you. You in a fucked up situation. You in a fucked up situation. Anytime the white folks start denying your bread, they don't even want your money. Anytime the powers that be don't want your money, you in a fucked up situation. Because you got to understand this. It wasn't until Soul Brothers, a dominant OMC 1% club, started bringing all of us together that they had the problem. Because you got to understand this. It's not about the money, but it's about the power and the control. And I know right now I'm speaking over a lot of motherfuckers' head. I know right now a lot of motherfuckers is nowhere near even understanding what the fuck I'm saying. They don't even got a clue. What I'm telling you is this. White folks show you that your money ain't shit, and we know white folks love money. What they're more worried about is the fact that Soul Brothers, a 1% OMC club, a 1% outlaw motorcycle club, has found a way to bring niggas, blacks, us, from all over the world together under one roof and party and have a good time with no incidences. You feel what I'm saying? That's the power. See, when you start getting to the power, your money ain't shit. See, that's what y'all don't understand. A lot of you motherfuckers is chasing the money instead of trying to get the power. I'm going to say this. I personally, FHO, have been offered a hundred, what was the, what was the, the $182,000 for a reality show for FHO. I was offered 182,000, wrote the check and everything for a reality show. And I turned it down. I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy. nigga crazy as a motherfucker. Ain't nowhere in the world. Ain't nowhere in the world. I turned it down. The reason why I turned it down was because in the first episode, they wanted to make an ass out of you and me. They wanted, they wanted to script it. They wanted to script the whole thing first off, which I was totally not against script and shit. Because you guys are real people. I'm a real person. We all real people that live in the real world and got to be around other real motherfucking people. You feel me? So 
What I'm telling you is this. The check was for 182000 whatever it was. The biggest check I've ever seen in my life. I ain't going to tell you no lie. To me, the biggest check I've ever seen in my life. I done, I done stole checks and wrote checks bigger than that. Check my history. Anyway, but the biggest, <laughs> the biggest check legally I've ever seen in my name come to me. And I turned it down because on the first episode. Let me show you how. Let me show you how these motherfuckers get down. On the very first episode. Okay. Snowman was one of the characters in the, in the reality show. They wanted him out of town and they wanted me at his house trying to get at his wife, Angie. Knowing I'm, I don't have no business at Snowman house talking to his wife and he's out of town and I wasn't invited over there by him. See, that's one thing you motherfuckers gonna get, you motherfuckers gonna get to it, man. You motherfuckers gonna get to understand and get to it and know this, man. There's rules and regulations, even in friendship, even in partnership. You feel what I'm saying? That was the first episode. They wanted to kick the whole season off with me over there on Snowman's porch, talking to his woman about, do you know what Snowman really is? Do you really think Snowman went out of town or whatever? Come on, man. Who the fuck do I look like? Who the fuck? Nigga, you ain't, no, ain't no amount of money you can pay me to do no bullshit like that. Period. <laughs> What'd you say, Flacco? They wanted a nigga dead. <laughs> hey, man. I'm just telling you. That's the bullshit. That's how they wrote it. That is not no motorcycle shit, homie. We don't even get down like that, man. We don't even get down like that. So just to let y'all know, man, when y'all see me out here getting it in, I'm getting it in for a purpose. I'm getting it in for, for you know, my blessings. I thank God that I'm out here. I've been on the road now over 30, damn near over 30 days. Um, I'm almost home, but I do this shit, man, for the love of it. I do it for y'all. And yes, I'm trying to put together some major shit. So yes, FHO is that serious to me. Yes, I have found a way, you know, to get paid for motorcycle. I'm going to say it. I, I was told not to say it, but it is what it is, man. But it's still because of the love that I have for you guys. Can't nobody say I'm out here doing it for the money. Nobody can say I'm out here doing it for the money because I don't fuck what you're going through. I'm not doing it for the money. There go my man, Greg. Hey, Greg, I just came on here and asked all of Second to None, L-A-I-E and whatever else, to, to not let me ride all the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma by myself, Greg. I just asked him that. You feel what I'm saying? Punchy already verified that you will ride. He said, but when me and you leave, it's going to be just me and you. There will be nobody else, even though Second to None, God, and this is this came from this came from Rare Breed now. Rare Breed admits that Second and None has more members, more chapters than them. I I don't think so. I think Rare Breed got way more members and chapters than Second and None. But Rare Breed themselves said, "Hell no, Second and None got us beat by far." So Second and None apparently right now is the biggest black bike motorcycle club in the United States. That that's what the conversation was. That we know of. Now, if it's somebody else out there doing it in them kind of numbers, then, hey, I'm sorry I haven't ran into you yet. I love you. I can't wait to see you. But that, from, from this, this standpoint, it was dubbed by a, rare, by a couple of Rare Breed cats that second to none has more members and more chapters than Rare Breed. So it is what it is. But with that being said, therefore, I should not be on the freeway by myself going from Los Angeles, California to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, that's what I'm talking about right now, man. That's what I'm talking about. Dizzy, appreciate it. But anyway, man, so the, everything that the Soul Brothers going through is not just their issue. It's a, our issue. Because not only do they take from the Soul Brothers, they don't shut the Soul Brothers down. They shut us down. They shut all of you people that spent that money in them hotels, that spent that gas, you know, rental cars, trailers, and a few of you guys that actually rode your motorcycles. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But all of you rent of cars and trailers and all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All of that shit. That's what I'm talking about, G. It's going down, man. I told Punchy, I told Punchy, when we leave here, it's going to be 50, uh, 50 second to nuns on the ground. He said, I was crazy as a motherfucker. He said, ain't nowhere in the world, man. But anyway, it, not only did they shut down Soul Brothers, they shut us down. They stopped us from having a weekend that we could have had. Like my man Gaddafi that came all the way from Pittsburgh. They stopped him from coming and having a good time. So don't just be mad at the Soul Brothers because it, it was beyond their control. And I'm telling you right now, I'm dispelling a rumor that they been new this because they didn't. Everything happened 
at the very last second. The, the people played the game like a chess game, okay? Uh, everything that Soul Brothers promised you that was supposed to happen in Phoenix was supposed to happen. The permits and everything else were in order. The bullshit article, fuck the article and the article writer. All that shit came out at the last minute. Fuck the uh, Phoenix Police Department who pulled their little bullshit ass done at the last minute. And that's basically all they did. They even tried to stop the little hole in the wall spot. It's just that the little hole in the wall spot was owned by the owners, by some niggas. They like, look, we're getting this bread right now at this bar, and we ain't never had no issues with Soul Brothers. We'll take our chances. Sorry, Mr. Police Officer, but get the fuck off my premises. I'm just telling you. Like I said, so all that old bullshit, I'm just spelling that, and you heard, you can tell them Big Sale said it. AZ Soul Brothers, I had a ball. I had a good time seeing everybody, um, and, and didn't, for half the people I didn't see. And I think I owe... Um, I forgot the lady's name that came and was supposed to see me and she caught me. So if you're watching this, you caught me going into the office um, and you said, what up, Sal? And I kind of gave you a what up and kind of was in the office because I had something that, that was on my mind that I had to deal with the office with. So, again, I apologize. Even if you spoke to me this weekend and I didn't have a chance to stop and come personally hang out with you, I want to apologize. But I did have a full weekend ahead of me and, and, and some other stuff. So, again, just catch me the next time and come grab me. And give me a hug and say, hold on, I need my five or ten minutes and I promise you, you got that, alright? Anyway, that's my time and I'm in Compton. I love y'all, but that's the truth. Soul Brothers, Arizona is not just a problem, it's our problem. We all need to come together and deal with it. Um, hey, sis, what's going on? Rewind this, man, so you can see what I said about the event this weekend. Um, bottom line, bro, we as African American community, black bikers need to start buying our building. I said that, that's what I said earlier. That's our fault for not owning shit. You start going to City Hall and taking about their issues because I'm telling you, I just said the same shit, Greg. I just said it if you just came on. Fast Black, what's going on, baby? My man, Fast Black, another G, local legend, hero, the whole nine yards, the man that deserves the respect that he deserves. You got to give it to him. Dirty Dirt, what's up with you, man? So rewind this video, man. I just said some, some stuff on here that you might agree with or that you might. But Arizona Soul Brothers, man, shout out to you. Major salute from FHO. And uh, we love you. And again, like I said, the Arizona problem is not just a soul brother problem. It's a black problem. It's a problem that we need to address because, like I'm telling you, it's white bike week right now. It's going down all week long. Them same permits that they deny soul brothers, they're going to get to the white boys. Them same places that they, the Harley Davidson dealerships and all that shit, they're going to open them up to them. And I'm going to tell you white folks something. Y'all missed a lot of money, but like I said, I told y'all earlier, if you're listening, when white folks stop taking your money, when they stop wanting your money, you better start really paying attention to what the fuck going on. When they stop wanting your money, when they stop wanting the nigga dollar, you know what I'm saying? When they stop wanting the black, I'm going to stop saying nigga. When they stop wanting the black dollar, when white folks stop wanting the black dollar, you got a problem. I'm telling y'all, you feel what I'm saying? You, you better get it together. Yeah, I'm telling you. So anyway, that's it. That's all. Oh, a major murder situation, dirty, major murder. I promise you. Anyway, that's my time. I didn't said enough, man. I probably overspoken some shit. Shout out to my soul brothers. Didn't mean to bring y'all shit up. Didn't mean to speak on it as much as I did. But I'm just, I just had to get that out because I heard the rumor. Oh, they been knew that shit. They knew that shit a week ago that this would. No, the fuck they didn't. No, the fuck they didn't. Everything happened at the last minute, nigga. I was there when the phone calls came in and everything. So you know, whatever the fuck you want to say, fuck you. They did not. They did not know everything that was promised to you guys was put in stone, put in writing contracts and everything. The track, the Harley Davidson dealership, all that shit was put in the contracts and everything got snatched at the last minute based on a political agenda that was put forth by the motherfucking, um, the, the people, the powers that be. But they didn't just shit on the soul brothers. They shit on each and every one of you motherfuckers that was there. They shit it on y'all too. They shitted on each and every one of you motherfuckers. They shitted on me. They shitted on everybody. They shitted on everybody that was to, was coming, everybody that came last year, and everybody that wants to come back next year. They shitted on us. So we need to get together and help them solve this problem. You feel me? All right, what up, Dirty D, my man? Dirty D, man. Yeah, you got to watch from the beginning, man. You got to go back and watch this. I love y'all. This might get me banned off Facebook. I can't even believe I've been Facebook Live as long as I've been. But maybe it's because I've been deleting certain motherfuckers. Maybe it's because them certain motherfuckers that I, that I deleted can't watch my Facebook Live no more. So they can't report me no more. I don't know. Maybe it's just God looking out for me, giving me this platform. Whatever it is, I'll take it. I ain't tripping, man. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Anyway, 
Much love, much peace, much hair grease, man. Ride your motorcycle. I love you. You feel what I'm saying? DJ O Boogie, put it down over there at the Black Knights and down the pound. And I'm sorry, down the pound spot. Uh, I spoke on that earlier, too. You can go back and rewind that, man. You feel me? I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I promise y'all do. Here go a big hug. If ain't nobody hug you, mm, that's a big old hug from Cell. Uh. Yeah, and for all my ladies, and for all you fuck boys, take that. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, your boy, Big Cell, see, I'm in Compton, baby. I'm back home, man, loving life. You feel me? Ride your motorcycle. Put some respect on the throttle, man. Love yourself enough to love me because I might call you when I need some. Shout out to kings, great kings and queens of Africa. They gave your boy five bottles of gas. It was just enough to get me where I was going. Cal, I got you. I'll call you. My phone is all the way dead. I got to let it charge up. Um, so anyway, when you see a great king and queen of Africa, give him my number. Tell him to call me. It was two OGs. One of them drive. Uh, one of them ride a soft tail. Clean as a motherfucker. Old school soft tail. He was on the side of the road. He said, dude, I don't need my gas. Take this gas. Boom, 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 boom. So I love him for that, man. And I want to thank them for that. It is what it is. It's your boy, Big Cell F.A. Choice, and I say, hey, man, anybody want to ride to Tulsa, Oklahoma, man, let's go, man. We leaving here Thursday morning, man, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's going down, second and none. It's going down. Don't forget, June 10th, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the races. Oh, we're going we gonna to crown the fastest bagger, man. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is going down for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Is that his name, um, L. Boogie Frank? Please give Frank my number. Tell him to call me. I personally want to thank him. I, he, don't, he didn't know who I was. From Adam and Eve, and it didn't matter. OG emptied his gas tank to put gas in my tank, man, to get me to where I had to go. And I didn't run out of gas because of him. I thank him for that. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Truly, I do. I'm in Compton for a couple of days. Holla at your boy, man. Yeah, Niagara Falls is going down. I already spoke on that July 5th through the 8th. The first FA, the first annual FHO Independence Independence Run is going down. We got two groups, one leaving Washington, one leaving Atlanta. We're going to go to Niagara Falls, have a good time, come back. I'm going to do some preaching and some teaching. And you know we're going to have some laughs, man. Yes, and it's going to be a whole bunch of ugly bikes, right? I, this is not an all Harley Davidson event. So it's going to be a whole bunch of ugly ass bikes riding with me. I didn't say that on camera, so don't nobody go back and say, why is you riding with Cell and he called your bike an ugly ass bike? Cell never said your bike was an ugly ass bike. I never said nothing about your bike being an ugly ass bike. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man, for y'all give me in trouble, man. I love y'all. What up, Sterling? What up, Chuck? Oklahoma Tulsa, baby. I'll be there. Lord willing, man. Hindu, I love you, baby. Peace. All right, which one of them niggas do? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hindu. Well, she has no business dropping my name, no. Nah. She don't even know me like that. The only person, and this, and like I told Sugar, I even told Sugar Baby this the other day, and I'll tell you this. Out of respect for Sugar Baby is the only reason why I'm even on this conversation. Lynn has, me and, me and Lynn has been friends going on with five years, six years, I don't know, whatever the fuck it is. And we've been day one, we've been 100 from day one. And like I told her, my loyalty is to her, period. You feel what I'm saying? Before Formed Alliance, before, before any of y'all was there, me and her was there. So I'm a loyal type dude. My loyalty is to her, and I'm not going to let nobody bash her name or talk about her without without her being present. Because one thing about me is I'm a snitch. If you say Joy said this, oh, Joy, guess what? I'm not going to tell you what I heard. I'm going to tell you what the motherfucker said. I'm snitching. That part. You know what I'm talking about? So it ain't going to be no, oh, well, I heard you said this. No. Joy, so and so said this, and so and so said that. Period. So, you guys, whoever want to talk to me from Sin City or whoever the fuck else, my number is in the public. Anybody can get it. It's a public number. It's, it ain't, it, it, I'm gonna answer the phone. Only I'd answer your call the first time because I was ordering me some motherfucking waffle and motherfucking lobster tail. You know what I'm talking about? But immediately, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. About it. I'm live. I'm live. I'm live right now. Y'all fucking up my live right now. But I love y'all. Uh, get it? Get. It. And this is on camera. It's on live. You on live right now. To Thesia Freeman. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Keep my name out your mouth. Uh, Formed Alliance is good with me. Land Sugar Baby will always be good with me. I don't give a fuck who you is or who you ain't. Understand what I'm telling you. I fucks with Land Sugar Baby. That's my girl. So that's on live right now. That's on live right motherfucking now. Anyway. 
Let me get back to this motherfucking waffle and this lobster, man. All right, man. All right, so, yeah, y'all see what's about to go down. Y'all see what's about to go down. That nigga special. That nigga special. It's my turn to do a video. Let me tell y'all what's really going on. I gotta work this camera shit out. Let me work it. Let me know. I got it. I'm gonna this shit right here. That's what I do. That's what I do right here. Yeah, let me show y'all this shit right here. Let me show y'all how this go down. Let me show you how this go down. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you how to purse. Let me show you how to. Let me show you how to pour syrup. See, see, it's an art to pour a syrup. You, you, you hold the thing steady, then you slide it. In. It let it drip off the bottom of the cup, not the top, but the bottom of the cup. You know what I'm that way you got it nice and slow. You know what I'm saying? Let it drip off the bottom. Don't put too much. You know what I'm saying? You just want to lightly moisten the waffle or the pancake. Pull that right there. All right, now. So, yeah, yeah. Where that at, Ronald? This is that Red Lobster, man. The new lobster waffle, that Red Lobster, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, Tommy. Yeah, it could be nasty to you all day. Anyway, here we go. Y'all ready? First, let me get, ooh, let me get on some of this waffle. Let me get on some of this waffle. Uh-huh. Her over there with her okay, okay. <laughs> okay. How was everything? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to put it on both sides of your mouth. I'm going to let it rotate. And then. <clears throat> yeah, you see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll work, man. That, that motherfucking waffle will work, man. That's that cheddar biscuit waffle, man. You know what I'm talking about? Lightly uh, syruped. Not too much syrup, lightly syruped. And let me see, let me see the, the lobster. The lobster got the breaded on there too. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Lightly, you know what I'm talking about? Lightly moisten the white. I'm telling you, man, that's how you do this shit, man. I'm telling you. And you see this? You grab your corner of the waffle. I mean, corner of the lobster. Cut you off the corner of the waffle. Of the lobster. Okay, you see how I got that little corner right there? I got those over there. Watch that. <sighs> okay. Put both of them together. We're going to try them both together. Try them both together. Okay. There it is. There you see it on the floor. You see? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good, this is real fat nigga shit right here, man. <laughs> this is real fat nigga shit right here, man. Oh my goodness. Check this out, man. This shit's so good and soft, I can take out two more teeth and still eat this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm about? Yeah. Appreciate you, lady. Yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. That'll work. I'm talking about. This shit's so good, I can take out two more teeth. You know what I'm talking about? I can take your whole front row out right there. You know what I'm talking about? Me and this waffle go have business. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord, man. I'm just saying, man. I'm just trying to tell you, man. This is some real shit, man. Real fat nigga shit, man. Lobster and waffle. Lobster and waffle, man, from the Red Lobster. Book. Take your corner, now. Take your corner. Don't be too greedy with lobster. Take your corner. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, good corn, get that, get that, get that waffle. Get that waffle shred up in there. Grab that waffle, put that on that waffle. Hey, don't grab that, that's the best. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, look at him. Boy, look at him. Y'all keep on playing around, heifers. It's starting to taste better than that thing y'all got between your legs. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the real shit. Baby, come to bed. I got something for you. 
<laughs> Bitch, if it ain't that lobster and that motherfucking lobster, you better kill yourself. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Come to bed. I got something for you. If it ain't that motherfucking lobster and waffle, kill yourself. You know what I'm talking about? You'll keep that there. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, to just bring up. She, she don't know. She don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So anyway, ladies, you have been replaced with the lobster and waffle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just got replaced. You just got replaced with the lobster and the waffle. Get your corner. Get your corner. Get your corner. Get your nice little corner. You come out and see that right there? Uh huh. Mm. 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 I don't know what brilliant scientific genius came up with this. It probably was a hungry nigga named Jake in the back. Hungry one day. Back there experimenting on. You know what I'm saying? Ran out of motherfucking regular waffle. Ran out of regular waffle juice. The waffle juice to make the waffle. He ran out of regular waffle stuff. I said, I'm gonna make me a cheddar biscuit waffle. He fucked around. Somebody ordered lobster tail that they didn't like. He got that and sliced that buffer. And there we have it. Well, shout outs and kudos to you, Jake. I salute you, the hungry kitchen worker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. So, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you right now, lady. Don't tell me to come to bed. Because you got something for me. If you ain't got that motherfucking that lobster and that waffle up under the pillow. If it ain't that, you know what I'm saying? You can keep it. You know what I'm talking about? You can keep it. I'm going to fuck around. I'm going to turn to This shit's so good. I'm going to mess around and take two more teeth out of my mouth. Just to show you how good it is. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. They did that. It's got to be the hottest shit since the patty pie. Yeah, I don't know how to say like that faggot. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know how to hit the high nose like him. But I sure can hit a fat nigga. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I sure can hit a fat nigga. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's Lord. I don't know. You ain't gonna hear me in here singing. Hitting no high notes, talking about no body. I ain't gonna be doing none of that. But I will get this motherfucker. Folk, mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm talking about? And if you get folk, mm, 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 that means this is some real good shit, man, from a real certified fat nigga. Man. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. See, I don't fuck around. I don't even want to eat it. So, you know how it's just so good, you kind of don't want to eat it all right now, but you know you need to eat it because this ain't the type of shit that you warm up later on because it might not be the same. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Listen, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Run down there right now, man. Run down to the Red Lobster. Run down to the nearest Red Lobster. I tell you what. Act like. Act like they playing Black Panther at the Red Lobster. You know what I'm talking about? You niggas go down there, there. You know? <laughs> act like, act like the Red Lobster got a free, pre, a free show of the Black Panther movie. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, cause this shit right here. Is, if they got this in Wakanda, I'm in Wakanda, nigga. I'm moving to Wakanda. Yeah, if that's what's in Wakanda, nigga. If this was in Wakanda, I'm moving to Wakanda, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Ooh, Lord have mercy. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more syrup. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slightly lay the syrup on it because you don't want it too soggy. You don't want it too soggy. See what I'm talking about? Let me show you. See, you gotta keep it just right. You don't want it too soggy, man. You don't want it too soggy. You don't want it too soggy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. You know how you call the waitress at a restaurant? 
Let me show y'all how to call a waitress at a restaurant. That's how you call a waitress at a restaurant. <laughs> That's how you call a waitress at a restaurant. Let her hear that shit right there. She supposed to come running. Yeah, that mean I'm at the bottom. That mean you need to get over here and fill me up immediately. So anyway, is there, man? That's my review of the lobster and waffle from Red Lobster. The cheddar biscuit waffle with the, with the, with the lobster. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Act like they showing Black Panther down at the Red Lobster. And don't meet me there. Beat me there. You know what I'm talking about? It's your boy, Big Your Agent, I see. Matter of fact, I might even change my name to Young Cheddar Lobster, babe. That's my new day, babe. I am no longer, as, as of today, I am no longer Big Cell. I am Cheddar Lobster. That is my new name, Cheddar Lobster. It's your boy. I'm gone. What's going on? All right, so everybody always asking me to give them some of the tips that help me get yonder. And I found something, man. I'm, I, I should be getting product endorsed for this, but I'm not. But I'm going to share it with you because I really want you to have this, and I really want you to check this out. This drink right here, Electrolyte. When I tell you I found this uh, on one of my journeys, and I, it's hard to find. I try to look for it everywhere. It is the truth. It does all of these things. You see what it does? It helps avoid cramping, muscle spasm. Um, the metabolic process. I'm just, I mean, I love it, ex especially for the cramping and the muscle spasms. When you're out there on that road getting that yonder, uh, it, you just tend to, you know, you, you cramp up, you do muscle spasms, hold on your eyes. So this particular drink, again, has helped me, man. I try to find it. Every time I find it, I try to buy me two or three of them, especially when I know I'm getting yonder. I try to take one before, during my trip, and maybe after to kind of make sure I'm straight, man. So check it out. It's your boy, Big Seller, Can I see? I'm going. Hey man, my last look, visit to the candy shop, man, up there, big punch over there, mom, everybody chilling, got the bike, whatever left, it's kind of empty right now, it's really, really empty, for real, new project still on the shelf, new project still on the shelf, you feel me, they get it together, the whole motor out of that, Batman and mom, yeah. Anyway. My man Elgin over there, the sound guru. Yeah. Anyway, just a little something, man. Say hey, hey, hi. I love you, mama. I love you, mama. Love you back. Hey man, we gone, man. Fat man. Four nineteen a gallon. Four twenty a gallon. And you got issues. And this ain't even ninety three. Four twenty a gallon. Y'all see that? Just letting y'all know, man. It's rough out here, man. Yeah, me and the young gunner, we out of here. Gonna make history, nigga. We're gonna show you niggas history right now, nigga. It's going down. And in the meantime. 420, 410, and 390. Yeah. This video probably for all my East Coast fan family. I know my West Coast family is sweet. This is for my down southers. I know you West Coast is asleep. Alright, so. It's time to get yonder. Yeah, what up with it, Felix? Eula? Dimitri, uh, Demetrius, Anthony, what up, T-Rod? I think T-Rod, hey, T-Rod, you don't never sleep. Deborah, Sharon, yeah. Good morning, man. It's time to get yonder, man. 
this time to do what the fuck I do. Let me see if I clean my damn food. Uh, what am I doing? You good? Or oil, everything? Check. Wretched. Say, man. Second to none toast. Y'all see this gas? 420 a gallon? Who does that? 420 a gallon. That is a lot, man. That is a whole lot. <laughs> Miguel, Michael, what up, Mike? My man, Mike Fish, what's going on? Say, man, I'm on the highway, so I need y'all prayers. Make sure y'all say a prayer for the kid. I'm with my man, Young Guns. Can y'all see Young Guns over there? Y'all can't see him over there. Let me turn Can y'all see Young Guns over there? <laughs> Hey, this is gonna be some comedy for real. That nigga crazy for real. So Y'all stay tuned for what I do, baby. Yeah. Anyway, man, y'all stop and pray for me right now. Pray for me and Greg. Safe travels. That pray that the motorcycles function as they were designed to. And pray that uh.
say, man, can't we all just get along? You feel me? This dealership right here, they sell everything. They sell Harley Davidsons. They're a Harley Davidson dealership. They're a Can Am dealership. A Honda dealership. A Yamaha dealership. And a Polaris dealership. Wow. Can't we all just get along? They got whatever kind of bike you want. They got Harleys, Polaris, Honda, Goldwings. They got it all, player. I don't think so. Okay, because we used to have a big sales thing at the center, so we reconfigured it a little okay. bit. No, it's been here 10 years, and it was up at the end of the main.